Well guys, I've showed you how to do a Mitsubishi, a Bryant carrier. How about a Daikin this time? Let me show you guys how to break down a Daikin wall cassette and get it apart. Let's go. Now guys, this is a smaller one. It's only a 12,000 BTU. I did a 24 or it might've been an 18 this morning. And I had a whole lot more screws than this one had. But on this one, we have a screw here and a screw here. Um, the larger models, you're going to have screws along here, one here, one here, and then you're going to have three or four along here. So, but starting off, let's take this screw out also in this cover, make sure we don't have anything right behind here. Uh, yeah, we don't. So taking these two screws out, we'll loosen this cover and the whole thing will come off. And with these ones, you want to pop the top off first. So we're going to try to push in and get that started. I don't know why these napkins are random here. Homeowners do weird things sometimes. We're going to get it started. You see how it's starting to pop off now? So we're going to get all three of those popped. Now with it loose, it will really just slide right off. There we go. And it's open. Now we are replacing the blower wheel on this because there is a huge chunk missing out of it. So we're going to loosen, we're going to take this screw off too, and that will loosen our blower, our electrical panel, and that will be able to move out of the way. And then we have two screws there. So we're going to take out those two screws and that screw. All right, now I have all the, those two taken out, and then this one, you can see this is loose now. I also loosened this sensor up here, pulled that out of there, just to get it kind of out of the way. Um, but for the sake of the video, we're going to take these two screws out because that will release our drain pan. I don't necessarily have to do that just for replacing the blower wheel because if you look up in here, can't really see, you can see the blower wheel in there, right back there. If you turn that and look in there good enough, you'll be able to see where the, the missing slat is, where your screwdriver goes for the set screw. Um, we're going to make it really easy on ourselves, though, because we're going to get the drain pan loose, too. And we'll do that by taking these two screws out. All right, now our drain pan is loose. Whoops. Okay, so you can see it, it's loose now. We can kind of get that, bend that down out of the way. And oh, we actually, we have one more screw that we forgot about. It's right there. Let's get that out. All right, now with all those screws loose, the drain pan will swing right down out of the way. If you wanted to take that off, you just undo your drain, follow this, um, this wire across to undo your stepper motor, and you can get that right out of there. So here's our blower wheel. You can see this big freaking chunk missing out of it. I had no idea how that happened, but we can get to our set screw a whole lot easier now too. It's right there, bam. All right, we got her out, and again, no idea how in the name of God this happened. It looks like it probably fell, got dropped, broken some kind of way during service. But that is a huge chunk that, that busted out of there, and it was causing the thing to rattle all over the place. So we got a new wheel here. Let's get it prepped to put it in. Put that one there. All right. We got her back in uh, pretty easy. Just make sure it's kind of centered. It's not either further one way or the other, or it will rub up against the side. Give it a couple flicks. Make sure it's not hitting anything. And then you can reassemble. I will say it's a little tricky getting the drain pan leveled back properly, but it's really not that big a deal. Just make sure you don't break anything because they are plastic drain pans and they can break. Let me show you guys something. When you're putting this coil back together, back down, I don't even know if I can get a good shot of it. But if you notice, 
this side ends up higher than this side, it means you're not locked down all the way. That piece of plastic there, it's supposed to lock in to the side of the, the coil here. This metal part of the coil, not the copper. Basically the end of the coil, that, co that plastic has to lock in there. So if you finagle it enough, you can get it in there, but it's gonna try to uh, not go in on track. So if you, like I said, if you notice this side's higher than this side, you're not lined up properly. You just kind of lift it up, push the plastic, this plastic in and pull down and it should, it should lock in there. But uh, that happened to me one or two times before I noticed, I was like, why the hell is this side so higher than this side? And that, that was why. It just wasn't locked in all the way. All right, we're just gonna step back and take a look. For the most part, everything is lined up properly. It does look like my side over here is a little higher. Might have to put that down a little bit more. I don't think that'll affect the operation or the way it goes back together, but you want everything lined up and back exactly how you took it apart. All right, in case you guys were wondering, yes, I did end up getting it locked in all the way. That right side on those, on those diking units, they have to line up perfectly. The metal of the coil have to lock into that plastic motor guard there. If not, it will kind of pop up a little bit. doesn't really affect the unit much, but it will make it look crooked. So you got to get all that lined in, lined up right. And um, so, so it looks like it's supposed to. But all right, guys, hopefully you guys are liking all these ductless breakdown videos. Um, I know all this from doing so many. The first time I've walked up on some of these ductless units, I had no idea how they came apart. So hopefully these videos are helping somebody. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, guys, I offer channel memberships. It's only 99 cents a month. It really supports the channel. So um, if you can pick up one of those, that'd be great. It really helps me out. But all right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. <music>